the least Shakespearean of Shakespeare's plays is Two Noble Kinsmen, uh, largely because it was written mostly by Sir John Fletcher and is now mostly known by the monologue of the 15-year-old jailer's daughter, if only because it gets done in auditions quite a bit, though rarely looking quite like this. <laughs> <laughs> Why should I love this gentleman? Tis odds he never will affect me. I am base, my father, the mean keeper of his prison, and he a prince. To marry him is hopeless. To be his oar is witless. Out of plot, what pushes are we wenches driven to when fifteen once has found us? First, I saw him. I, seeing, thought he was a goodly man. He has as much to please a woman in him, if he pleased to bestow it so, as ere these eyes yet looked on. <laughs> Next, I pitied him. And so would any young wench of my conscience that, that ever dreamed or vowed her maidenhead to a young, handsome man. Then, I loved him. Extremely loved him, infinitely loved him. And yet he has a cousin, fair as he too, but in my heart was Palamon, and there, Lord, what a coil he keeps to hear him sing in an evening, what a heaven it is. And yet his songs are sad ones. Fairer spoken was never a gentleman. When I come in to bring him water in the morning, first he bows his noble body. Then salutes me thus, fair gentle maid, good morrow, may thy kindness get thee a happy husband. He grieves much, and me as much to see his misery. What shall I do to make him know I love him, for I would fain enjoy him? Say I ventured to set him free. What says the law then? Thus much for law or kindred, I will do it, and this day or tomorrow he will love me. <laughs> <laughs>